apostles are generals and fathers. And I hope you enjoyed this chapter. This chapter really, to me, describes what it is that uh, apostles are called mostly to do. In the last chapter, I tried to just kind of hit on some of the fruit that you may look for in your life to see an apostolic anointing. The desire, obviously, is there. And I want to go a little bit deeper in that, and that was my desire when we wrote uh, chapter 7, which is generals and fathers, to understand that that apostolic anointing really does both. I love what Apostle John Kelly says. He's my leader and the person that uh, I, I, I've submitted myself to, and he's my spiritual father. And he said this. He said, Mark, every mistake I've ever made can be summed up like this. I acted like a general when I should have been a father. Or I acted like a father when I should have been a general. And I love these two analogies, father and general, because they are the extreme they are the extreme that produces a tension of balance in the middle. And uh, let me try to describe what that means. Let, let, let's talk about father. Talk about this idea of being a father. What's it mean to be a father? It means that you love people, you love your kids, you raise your kids, you nurture them. I think every apostle that I know has that heart to be a father. Or when I say father, please understand that it could be, you know, in, in your case, watching this as, as a lady, it would be a mother. But uh, to parent, I guess, would be the, the better term. Uh, the apostle has that, that parental kind of feeling where, where they love their children, they want to nurture their children, they want the best for their children, they want to build up their children, and that's, that's wonderful, that's awesome. Uh, and, you know, discipline the kids, yeah, but, you know, you got this fatherly thing in you that just really wants to love them more than anything. Even when you discipline, you know, you, the, the old saying that my parents said to me, that I said to my kids, which is going to hurt me more than it is you. And in some ways in the heart, certainly discipline your kids does hurt uh, in, in some ways more than them. And But that's a father. Okay. That's what a father does. What about a general? <clears throat> well, a general, a general may really love his troops, but he only loves his troops to the degree that his troops can, can fulfill the assignment. You know, the general really is all about the mission. And, and they love their troops. They want their troops to, to live, you know, survive, thrive, and enjoy the victory and spoils of war. However, really what that general is, is all about is the mission. And if his soldiers refuse to uh, complete the mission, let's see how much the general loves them then, right? Because really that general is about the mission, he's about the assignment, he's about creating strategy for victory. And while this general does indeed love those troops, and I think you'll see in most cases in history, the generals have a heart for their men, but it is, it is greater than the heart for the men is what the men can accomplish. Okay, so that's a general. I think probably being a general or a father, when you're trying to lead people as an apostle, those are doing one and not the other, uh, will probably get you in trouble. And I think what Apostle Kelly was saying was this. There were people that came to me that I needed to talk straight to, that I needed to be brutally honest, I needed to be blunt. Now, if you've led people at all, you know there's people, when you look at your history, that if you had to do over, you'd have told them the truth. But you kind of sugarcoated it and whitewashed it and ended up they caused more trouble they cause more trouble in the end. I don't know how many people I've spoken to, leaders in the church that just says, you know what? I should have just dealt with it 10 years ago. and We wouldn't have had this problem. But generals are real good at dealing with that situation. So I think what Kelly was saying was there were some situations I just needed to handle. I should have been up front and honest, with, but, I, but I loved them. And, and, and they, were, they, they were hurting. And uh, I just wanted to embrace them. And that's wonderful. Sometimes people don't need a father. They need a general. So he said, my mistakes are, I acted like a father when I should have been a general. Or, remember this, I acted like a general when I should have been a father. Okay, so here's the general. The general is the guy that wants the mission done, the mission completed. He doesn't want any belly aching. He doesn't want any complaining. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry about your tough luck. You haven't eaten in, in a couple of days. And we've marched you know, 150 miles, but look, we've got an objective to reach. We've got an enemy to defeat. I'm sorry, but you've got to get back in the battlefield. You've got to do what you need to do. That's how our general acts. And so Kelly was saying, 
when I should have been a father to some people, I was too much like a general. In other words, maybe maybe someone just needed a little bit of love, a little bit of care, a little bit of attention. Maybe someone need, just needed a compliment. They needed me to be a father, but I was a general. Or they needed me to be the general, but I was too much of a father. What I like to tell people when I'm doing this whole teaching is imagine General George S. Patton right here, and imagine Michael Brady on the Brady Bunch right here. And an apostle is somewhere on the spectrum that is able to be General Patton when needed, and he's able to be Michael Brady when needed, and he is the balance of those two. That is really the heart of an apostle. Trying to be one or the other too much can really hinder the ability for an apostle to lead people. And I'm speaking to other apostles or those called to be an apostle uh, mostly when I'm talking about this. But let me reverse this a minute and say also that if you are being apostolically led by someone, let them be the general and let them be the father on their terms. Because frankly, let me tell you about myself. I don't know about you, but I'd say you might be like me. I don't need, for instance, you know, John Kelly is who is who the person that I'm connected with. I don't need Apostle Kelly to always be a daddy to me. I need sometimes, I need my rear end kit. I, I need to be told the truth. I, I, sometimes I just need to be, you know, someone to say, look, Mark, sorry about your tough luck, buddy, but we've got a job to do. Let's get busy. I like that. I really, you know, I, I was I played sports from the time I was a small kid, three sports a year. I love being coached. I know how to relate to coaches. I don't get offended with coaches. I, as long as that coach wants to bring victory for my team and he's got my best interests at heart, listen, I know how to be yelled at when I needed yelled at, how to get my rear end kicked when I needed kicked. Okay, I, I like that. But then, you know what? If you're being led by an apostle, sometimes you got to let him be daddy. You got to let him you know, love on you a little bit, compliment you a little bit. And that feels good. And you need that occasionally. But don't forget, there's also a time when they're called to be a general. When I look at the Apostle Paul, who may be the prototype apostle, that at least we know the, the most about. There were times when he was a general and he came down on people. I mean, when he wrote the Corinthians in the second letter, chapter five, he told them there's a guy that's committing adultery. He won't repent. He's still doing it. Get rid of that man. Don't even have lunch with him. In 1 Corinthians, I said 2 Corinthians. That was in 1 Corinthians chapter 5. But then he turns around in 2 Corinthians and says, you know, hey, don't be too hard on people. You know, sometimes they just need a little tender love. And if they repent, bring them back. So it's like the general, he was a general when he wrote 1 Corinthians chapter 5. But then when you get in 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and 3 right in there, he's, he's, he's become more of a father. So that's what apostles do. Apostles are both generals and fathers. That's the conclusion of this teaching. So read the next chapter, and I'll see you after that.